What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, John, from Project Ellsworth, and I'm back with you today to finally unbox Roy from Friday the 13th, The New Beginning. He's on this shelf behind me. Let's grab that sucker, get him off that shelf, and get him out of that box. All right, Roy. Your time has finally come. Let's set you free. As always, I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. All right, so Roy from Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. I was not the biggest fan of this movie when it came out. I remember going to the movie theater and seeing this and being very, look at that, you can see me and my green screen behind me. I remember being very annoyed by... The fact that this was not Jason in this movie bothered the hell out of me. But as time went on, I actually got used to it and I actually kind of liked it. I definitely like this movie leaps and bounds more than a few of the other installments in this franchise. I am not a fan of parts 8, 9, and 10 at all, which is a shame because I really like Kane Hodder a lot. And he is in my least, all of my least favorite Friday the 13th movies. But whatever, it is what it is. I do like Kane, but I do not like Kane's movies. All right, so he's in here with one of these wires, and I don't have scissors in reach. So I'm going to see if I can cut this sucker with this thing. And All right, success. All right, I'm going to get him out of this packaging and mute the video, speed it up, all that crap, just so this plastic sound doesn't annoy the hell out of you. All right, so there's Roy. <laughs> That's actually really, really good. It just looks, it looks just like him. Hey. That's hilarious. That likeness is crazy, crazy, crazy good. Very, very cool. And there is the hockey mask with the blue marks on it, which was the telltale sign that this was not Jason fits over him nicely can put it on can take it off I didn't realize prior to opening this box I actually I more or less just forgot that it didn't come with a different head that it just simply came with you take the mask off all right articulation elbows move shoulders move wrist rotates hips do not swivel uh, or excuse me, waist does not swivel. Hips move, knees move, uh, and hips rotate, and ankles move a little bit. I never force the ankles on these things because I don't want to be that guy who breaks the ankle on one of these figures and then has to go find like a doll stand like I did for my uh, Captain Blake figure. That thing drives me berserk. But there he is. That is Roy from Friday the 13th Part 5. A new beginning. Is it new beginning? A new beginning? It's a new beginning. Keep, keep, keep wanting to say the new beginning. All right, and Roy comes with this badass machete with almost black blood on it. I like the riveting in that handle. So that's very, very cool. He comes with all kinds of stuff. I have no idea what I'm going to pose him with yet. I'll probably just look some images up online. I'm looking, knocking crap over and figure stuff out later. Comes with a giant spike. Nothing too, nothing too, uh, nothing too noteworthy there. He comes with this hunting knife with some blood on it. It's also very cool. It's like a Rambo knife. He drew first blood. And here's the strap and stick. I think that's actually pretty cool. Didn't come with the naked chick though. Came with the strap and stick uh, that he killed the naked chick's boyfriend with. Here are the working garden shears that's really cool this is probably what he's going to be posed with the working garden shears that he did kill the naked chick with 
I can never remember her name. All I remember is that her name is Voorhees. I don't remember what her first name is. It's awful. Well, I know what I do remember about her, and it is not her name. There is a big meat cleaver. Well, a meat cleaver, not such a big meat cleaver. And a railroad spike. Took me a second to figure out what that thing actually was. And an extra hand. Very, very cool. This was a flare. No doubt, that's what that is. And the handle broke off of it as I took it out of the package. So I will not be posing Roy with his flare. But Roy's cool. I like Roy. I think his face is amazing. It's one of the most accurate likenesses I've ever seen in a NECA figure. It's actually really remarkable. Uh, I wish I opened him sooner. I wish his turn came up earlier. He's got the old green jumpsuit on. It's almost like he borrowed this from Michael Myers. Very cool detailing, but I mean, how much detailing are you going to get in a jumpsuit? I wouldn't be surprised if I went over there and grabbed the Michael Myers figure if this suit was very similar to that of what he's wearing, just a slightly different color. But he's awesome. I like Roy. So I will put Roy in some poses, take some pictures, shoot some video, and end the video with that. Well, before my final thoughts, I guess, or my, you know what I'm saying. So that's it. That's Roy from Friday the 13th, A New Beginning, Friday the 13th, Part 5. Overall, I really, really like this figure. I think he's very, very nice. The issue that I have with this guy, the hell that I just experienced, and it may just be this unique to this in particular figure, the way that his extra hand, the hole was so stinking small that I could barely get it to stick on his wrist, which made it very difficult to interchange all of the, well, the wrist, the, his hand, the extra hand, number one, first and foremost. But then every time I would try and put something in and out of his hands, his hand kept falling off. And it's annoying, I'll tell you that. But with that, these things are not going to be played with. They're going to sit up on the shelf over there and just talk to each other. Now, that's what I have to assume that they do when I'm not down here. That's what I like to believe anyway. They used to say that kind of stuff about the ball, uh, the busts in the NFL Hall of Fame, that when the doors were closed and, the, and there was nobody around that they talked to each other. Kind of have a, kind of hope that that's what goes on down here. That would be hilarious. All right, so that's it. That's Roy. I like Roy. I hate Roy's hand. I hate Roy's hand. And I hate the fact that that friggin' flare broke, but that ain't Roy's fault. All right, I'm getting out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video, you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Say goodbye, Roy. <laughs> Later.